I'm going to use <coughs> GX Web, the uh, browser-based free version of geometry expressions to explore um, some of the mechanisms in this uh, book, uh, mechanisms for the generation of plane curves. And I'm going to start with the, uh, the mechanism here, uh, figure 140, which is uh, a mechanism which will draw a probabola. So uh, let me share my screen. Um, so the uh, first thing um, we, we can see here's here's the the diagram. Um, we can see there's a fixed line uh, at h to h. We we could conveniently use the um, axes for that. Uh, there's also a fixed point we see at d, uh, a certain distance down uh, below the axis. So we can put a point there and we can constrain its coordinates and that will keep it uh, fixed at uh, x not y not. Now if we look at the diagram again, um, we're, we can see there's a slider at a which goes left and right on the axes and then there's a, a number of different uh, sliders in there. Let me uh, sliding blocks in there. Let me just uh, uh, put the piece this together. So there's a, a point here which can slide backwards and forwards. Um, we're going to have um, a line segment here and then a sort of arbitrary length line which we can have in GX web with this infinite line. Uh, which connects this point up to our fixed point. Um, now, the uh, uh, angle here is is going to be maintained. So this is going to be a right angle. And we can strain that and we can see uh, B is sliding and C is moving sideways, but the distance from BC is going to stay fixed. Now, I'm actually going to do something a little bit sneaky. Instead of constraining the length of the line BC, I'm going to constrain the distance of B uh, from the infinite line. And because it's a perpendicular, it's the same thing, but it helps uh, GX web with its uh, computations here. Um, now, uh, I will... Uh, now, we're going to need, and let's have a look at the uh, diagram. We're now going to need um, a line vertically down from our sliding block. And then we're going to need another line at perpendicular uh, to D, uh, to, to um, our lever at D. So what we're going to do, we'll put an infinite line in here coming down from B, and we'll constrain that to perpendicular to the axis. Perpendicular. And now we're going to create another um, line through A, and this is going to be perpendicular to this one here. And now by dragging or not, nothing's actually going to be happening. Oh, the, the intersection here of these two lines is going to be the, the trace point. Let me create that at this point. B is the one that's going to trace. But we've got to drive it with something. And let's drive it with the angle of um, this line here. So let's make it the angle of the axis. Let me make that theta. And so we can watch what we can have look like theta uh, move. And watch our mechanism. Now, one thing I notice in the description uh, in the book is um, when, when I'm actually looking at it, is that the distance of A from the X axis has to be equal uh, to the distance BC. So let's just make that happen by 
editing this instead of why no as its location we're going to make it minus a and that has now straightened this thing up uh, so the distance bc is the same as the distance of a from the uh, y-axis so given that what um we, we want to create the locus of b so let's do that we the locus is a construction with this construction here when we select it we get it we get options as to which parameter uh, is going to vary in this case the final parameters could vary as theta and there we see um the uh, the curve um we can animate the uh, the mechanism uh, just by animating theta and we can watch it um do its thing Now we can see that it's actually we really want to be just going from maybe three to nine. Let's make that change. Make that go from three. backwards and forwards through the region that we're interested in. Well, maybe not, we're missing a bit. Um, so we can now ask, well, what is that? That does definitely look like a parabola. Let's just check that it is and see what exactly what a uh, parabola it is. And we can do that by asking um, in our um symbolic panel for the equation of oh, well we don't know what the name of this is but we can click on it and in fact we see the name is k0 um and there we have the equation we can see yes indeed it is a parabola there's a y and there's an x squared and we could uh, do a little bit of simple algebra if we'd like um to um express that as a function so that's my first uh, parabola drawing mechanism. Let me just pull the uh, uh, the picture in there beside the um, beside the diagram. Oh. Stop my share. <laughs> 